FNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the 1 p.m. Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. Dow's down 143 at 32,986, almost like a waiting game, waiting for some economic news or something just to say, hey, a little relief rally coming, but it hasn't come yet. And we're looking, and I'll, I'll do this in the in next hour. I'll, I'll be sitting in for Larry. Larry's still not, uh, not uh, good enough to do the show. He's feeling a little ill. And I will do this. So what we're looking at here is that the S&P is also somewhat weak. And because of that, let me just do this here. And because of that, with the S&P down uh, 23, it's a little different chart formation. You can see, you see this orange line here, 200 period exponential moving average. It's hit that about seven times in the last seven days. Well, six out of the last seven days. And it is a repellent zone, and it's struggling to, to push above it. It would need by Tuesday or Wednesday of next week to be up at the 4283, 42, actually 4300 level to say, hey, I've got a decent bounce coming, and it hasn't done that yet. Look at the QQQ, the NDX 100. NDX 100, two, minus 249 at 357.32. That's the QQQ. Um, it, it's a better chart pattern. Then the S&P and the weekly charts, the only one that hasn't turned pink in the nine-period moving average. So far, that's pretty good. IWM, the Russell 2000, oh, looks very weak, down 90 cents at 170.32. Now, we're watching gold because gold tried earlier to, to make some kind of a, a rally attempt. It was up a little bit. It went to 18.43. Now it's at 18.31 with the low of the day at 18.26 on the continuous contract. Really struggling and that stochastic flat at 1.86. I don't know what it's going to take to get into the teens, let alone uh, the 20s where it will start to show a lot more strength, but it hasn't got there. And look at the dollar. The dollar is actually weak. It's down 33 ticks at 106.44. If it actually starts to get to 106.22, gold needs to move. Gold should be up 4 or $5. If it isn't, there's something wrong with this picture. And you're looking at the TLT, which are bonds. <clears throat> uh, bonds are uh, down 32 ticks at 85.94. Uh, these rates are still pretty high. And looking at crude oil, crude oil is down again sharply, down a dollar and a half at 52.6. I'll be back uh, for Larry's uh, uh, Trade What You See show for that hour. Basil Chapman, be back in a moment. See you soon. And my service is the opening call. And my show at 10 o'clock is the Tiger Technician's Hour.